I, it's me, the procrastinator, because I still haven't did the Spider-Man one. It's just I couldn't figure out what I should give him. Like, if I should give him, like, a Spider-Man suit with electricity and all that. Or should I give him organic webs with, like, paralyzation abilities and invisibility powers. And I was thinking, how about I just do Venom, because that's a pretty cool character. And all that, but this is what if Deku had... Um, God, I'll just call it God. That means he can destroy and create in this, got it? So, in this what if, boys don't have corks, but it's not a freaking harem, because Momo's 15, D I'm just kidding guys, but yeah. So... And this what if guys don't have corks. So whenever Deck is born, they're like, oh, it's a guy and stuff. And doctors there are disgusted because they help give birth to a guy. So they ask Inko if they want to give him away. And I say Inko is a hero in this. And all that. And which there are guys with corks. Which I'll say. Just because I'll say. She. It's not Inka Midoriya. It's Inka Yagi. It means All Might. It's still a dude. But that also means people more respect guys. But they think All Might's just a special case. So yeah. They would say no. And stuff like that. Plus then the youth they say. So they can't have a kid to slow them down. So they would say no. He would be sent to an orphanage. But I'll say in the orphanage, there's some girls and some boys, but the girls overpower them. Other boys because they they don't have corks. So I'll say Deku is a little different. So instead of being a coward, he would run away. By hopping the wall. And he'd be running on the streets. And this is when he'd be running. And a giant man. Tower towers above him. And he has this weird voice. And he's like. What are you doing here kid? Deku. Like I said. His personality is way weird for a little kid. He wouldn't be afraid. He'll look him dead in the eyes. Saying that. I'm just leaving. He'd be like, then where's your parents, kid? Deku would be like, I don't have any. And stuff like that. If you guys wonder who this is, it's Guy Ganshua. I totally forgot his name. And stuff like that. But he's that dude with multiple quirks. And stuff like that. And he blew up like a mountain. If you guys seen that in the manga. But yeah. And he'd be like. Come with me. Pig picking him up by the back of his neck. He'd be. Deck would be trying to kick him away and stuff. And this is where he, he would take him to an area. And said. Fight me. For years straight. Now he would just raise him. Tell him to work out and crap. And Deku would, but Deku would never see him as a father figure. He would just know him as Gigantua. That dude. He would eat and stuff, but he has to go kill. And Deku's like, but I'm a dude, so I don't have a cork. And he'll be like, too bad, throwing him a knife, saying, go kill your own food, kid. And he would. I'll just say that he finds a rabbit and he throws the knife at it, killing it. And he would just do this routine for, I'll say, three years. Building up muscles, killing boars and crap. Now, now he has an actual sword. And stuff. He still hasn't awakened his cork yet. 
this is whenever we get to after this he comes back and does work out Gansha would come up to him and say now it's for your real training kid if you like real training what you talking about he would say you're what age are you now I think he would say seven because I'll say he's smarter than normal people because this cork's literally God but he'll say now it's your real training and I'll say Gargantua had a hasn't shown this if he had a cork like this but I'll just make it up because we don't know what corks he have I'll say he has double mini doubles what it does it takes how many portion of his power that he wants and he can split it off so if he wanted to he could take half of his energy away but what this does is make him smaller so he'd be half the size the clone will be too and I'll say he makes a clone the size of Deku a seven year old he'd be like what is this and it would kick Deku in the stomach send him back making a cough of blood and Deku would be like what the hell and he'd be like why are you do that taking his sword running at him since he has been working out, he's much faster than a normal could be. I say I'm not going to make him ridiculously faster than a normal kid right now, but I'll say he's around Ida and like like four seconds in like a 50 meter run, or how I'll say he's fast as Ida. More than, no, he I'll say he's like stain level. So he's able to jump off walls and he'll be doing that, slicing at him. But the double would grab the blade and headbutt him, making his head bleed, being like, <clears throat> send him back. And Gigant would say that you have to continuously battle it and stuff like that. And if you guys are wondering, they're like at a mountain and stuff like that so there's four surrounding it and he would continuously fight for a month straight running and trying to eat anytime he can but he would build up a lot of muscle through all this running and jumping increasing his speed faster than normal workouts can I'll say he does this for a while you know, all the fight. This is whenever, after a while, he can get, he cuts it a few times after two months of fighting, um, trying to get food and get him punched in the back every time. And he cuts it. And now, a month later, he kills it every time it comes back. This is why Gan Ganshua would make it the size of a. 10 year old so it'll be or 12 year old so it'll be around like 5 2 or at least I'm, a, I'm that high I'm not yeah I'm around that high I'm a little taller but that's like to my nose level so that's about like yeah so 5 2 but he would start fighting it again but this time it's just like it was at the beginning that speed flexing him so hard and punching him I say I gave him like it's just been like three months four months yeah four months so I'll say it takes him eight months making it a year already so he's eight now and I'll say every time he gets his birthday because he remembers it he would go and get like a berry buffet and eat it he would do this and Gigantua because he does have a little love in his heart would send 20 doubles at him or he'll make another 12 year old dummy saying that you can't rest now you must fight even harder and he can already like cut the double a couple times now but this is when people be double teamed by these. 
get him punched around. I'm gonna take his sword, or else he'll get angry, grab one by the face, slam it to the ground, but whenever he does this, it, it completely gets destroyed. And he grabs the other one, and it destroys again, turning into like gooey substance, like it blows up. Kind of how Overhaul's Court can work, how he can just grab somebody and blow them up. Just make that out like gooey substance, without like blood or anything. And that's whenever Gargantua. If you guys wonder how Gargantua, I said the only reason All Might has a cork is because of, you know, um, he got the cork. That's the only reason why he has it. And stuff like that. And that means why Gangantua has this because there's a theory that all one all for one gave him his old quirks that defeated All Might or beat down All Might, and that's why he had a different set of quirks when he fought him again. That's the theory. So yeah, I would just say it was true. But he would destroy them. Of course it would reform, but it wouldn't mean much because now he knows he can destroy them by exploding them. But Gansh would see this, that he's just popping them now. And this is when he would pour more energy into them, which when he touches them, they will implode, like get bigger, but they'll reform and smack them even harder. And this time they'll fuse together. And this would equal around 10% of Gigantula's power. I wouldn't say that's like equal to 10% of All Might's strength. It's probably way more. Because I think his full strength is about a mountain destroyer. Take 100% of that mountain, slice off a bit. He can about destroy half of them, or like a side of a mountain with that type of strength. So he can definitely destroy buildings easily. And this is a kid with no strength cork. But yeah, so he would just run around and stuff. He would just battle him. And they'll they'll just get bigger and it would punch him. It's like, huh, oh, my cork doesn't work anyway. It's bull crap. What the hell? And if you're always wondering, he kind of looks like this in this picture with his clothes looking like that. Bloodied and everything because he has no rest because even if he gets something, he has to cook it while running and fighting. So yeah, so he has wounds from years ago or a year ago, but he would fight him. And this, I'll say it's around, he's like eight, another year later, he figures out, I'll say, he has another sword, which his swords do do some of it, but all he can do is cut it in half and hope that it, like, it can, takes a while to reform and get away. But whenever he cuts them in half, he will throw the one part of the body where it has to get back together. But now he's a certified sword master. Two, hand, two sword style. But I'll say, this is the day, after using these swords for so long, he would punch with Deku blocking with them, with them shattering. And now he's nine. So I'll say that they're around like a grown adult size. So I'll say it's like 15% of his strength. And this, he's completely wore down because he can never rest. He kind of just came up with like a affinity of like long lasting stamina. Like for staying up for like a month straight. But he does have to sleep for at least four hours every month. And I'll say how he does this is that he digs, he uses his cork to destroy the ground. 
and he puts them right over him and he sleeps underground every four hours but eventually he does find him and stuff like that by punching the ground uprooting trees but once they break um Deku would try to use the heel but the hilts won't do much but like crap well like I said they fuse together so now it's not double team but he's gonna punch by big fist but this is where he would be like I just need another sword swinging the hilt with metal appearing onto it getting a gigantic sword swinging it down destroying which I'm not going to give a number of it's probably way stronger than Deku in 20% strength right there and what would this do the giant sword which I said is giant so he swings down with it getting cut in half and also hitting the trees behind it because Deku never thought he was that strong because he doesn't know how strong he really is to destroy this dude and stuff like that so he would cut stuff down this is pretty much just him growing up so I just like show you some of his strength over a while so this might be a long video and that's where we're gonna get into it. It'll be like oh, a creation and destroying quirk pretty impressive and I say the clone would disappear with Gargantua showing his true self. And he'll be like, I name your quirk God. Not that, but yeah. So that's how he gets his name as his quirk called God. And he would just now he says, because we know your quirk now. Oh my god. Sorry about that. That was an interruption again. But yeah, and now, instead of having a clone, he, Deku would be like, so I get to rest. He says sleep for a few hours. Deku would sleep for an actual eight hours of sleep. And he would wake up, saying, looking, looking. Usually, if every time he gives him like a rest, a clone would be standing by and he would see Gigantron. He'd be like, where's the clone? He would say, you're not fighting clone this time, you're fighting me, swinging his hands down, and stuff like that. And this would hit Deku in the arm, send him back completely, breaking his ribs and crap, but he would touch himself, saying, can I heal? And he would like heal himself by true creation by like replacing his bones all kinds of crap and he would summon two swords out of thin air you guys wonder what it looks like have you ever seen fate night how the dude creates swords out of air think of that but yeah so this is when he would start fighting but he sees that his swords are not working because he's only thinking of regular metal. So he starts thinking harder, 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 but they're still breaking. He says, unbreakable. He does it again after a while, but instead of breaking it cracks and he says it's working. He starts slamming it. Just waiting for you to take two small blades and throw them at him, aiming for his head. Or Gantra would just swing his head sideways. What just knocking off course with wind. And crap like that. And he would just take his blades, trying to fight him again. This is where he would take he would summon like a hundred blades in front of him. And like I said, he has like infinite stamina, so if he can last like a month of running without any sleep, um, 
his cork runs off of stamina, but because of all this training, he has infinite. So this is going to be throw his actual blades, his katanas, at him. And he, it, these are sure he would be like sharper, sharper, sharper. And these would actually cut his skin just a little bit. This is whenever all the swords would fall down. And he would smack them away with his... He would put up his arm with them stabbing inside of him. That's when Deku would jump at him, grabbing his arm or touching his shoulder, exploding it off. But he probably has regeneration quirk because if somebody with a decay quirk that can decay a whole body hits you, you have to have some kind of regeneration to survive that for long. So it probably would have came back and Deku would be survived and he would get met to the face with a punch slamming him to the ground and this is, he thinks this is way stronger than any of the doubles ever faced was and stuff like that okay he's around 9 I said 6 years later or 5 years later he's 14 I said he's super smart because he's automatically smarter because of his quirk. But yeah. He would be able to take on him for a while without completely getting broken apart. And after rebuilding himself sometimes, just how Bond got so durably strong from, you know, being in purgatory, Deku would become ridiculous strong too. And he would know different ways to use his quirk of destruction and creation. So he would probably know how to reform the ground like overhaul. Just think of overhaul's quirk but more advanced pretty much. Like alchemy, like the philosopher's stone. Alchemy mixed in with overhaul's quirk. And fake night style crap. Yeah, that's practically his quirk, though. But yeah. Now my mind's on fake night, so I'm about to do some moves for fake night, man. He would be running. This is showcasing some of his moves. And he. He would be met hearing some rustles through trees, having tin trees fly out up. And he'd see him and he would stick out his hand saying barrier with him punching it with it breaking and he would come dude Dragansh would come back with another fist and he would say multiple barrier and he would punch breaking through a couple of them but one still standing and he would push him at him hitting him that's when he would take his two swords and would say, he would not say a move, but he would go up and slash out his chest, slicing him up. This is whenever he, the dude would like karate chop him in the arms, breaking them with the swords flying back. That's whenever he would be met in the, in the chest with two small daggers that were spinning, hitting him. As whenever Deku's arms will crack back together, and then he would take the two blades and start spinning them on top of him, throwing them at him. They will continuously spin while drop kicking him, taking the two blades, going to stab in the head. But this is whenever something dark would appear on him with them breaking on him and stuff like that. He would jump back, taking out his flying backwards easily, then landing in the air, say wind, like wind floor. And this one you see, you wouldn't see anything, but he would be standing in the middle of the air 
with something something getting shot at you hitting you that you don't know with him walking dropping down like he was like there's this round circle and he would say he would shoot an arrow a twisted arrow that looks like a spear sword piercing him because I'm on that archer crap because that's one of my favorite characters moves out of Fate Say Night Man because it's pretty cool this would pierce Gigantua in the chest sending him through the mountains and he'd come back with his fist glowing this one of her Deku couldn't dodge but he would get met to the stomach with a punch sending trees all over and what this battle is is the final battle of Deku and Gigantua and Gigantua said he'll go full power for just a moment. And what this would cause is the whole mountain being leveled in the process. Trees flying everywhere, hitting the city. With Deku being launched back, with his stomach ripped open, organs flying everywhere. And Gigantua saying that you passed. Of him coughing up. And then Deku would have reformed his stomach and would have landed on top of a build on top of a crossing road area falling down breaking it and meeting face to face with a sludge villain this is where I'll leave it off hope you like it. Yeah, I also forgot if you don't hit the like button right now you'll be, be attacked by one eyed Johnny the cat hear that Johnny oh he's asleep yeah, attack people, Johnny. Oh, I saw that movement. And he's really mean. He can cut somebody's throat open with a one claw. Got it? Goodbye.